Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of Kronos Blindly Plays Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age. So yeah, this was just released today and it's apparently supposed to be really fantastic. Um, I'm rather familiar with the Dragon Quest series. I The only ones I haven't beaten were 9 and 10. I played a lot of 9 though and 10 was never released in America and I think it's a MMO as well. Are you going to the intro? We'll just, we'll probably see that when we actually start the game. But yeah, no, I'm very much looking forward to this. Apparently it's also probably rather long, so I'm thinking like 30 to 35 minute episodes going forward, but we'll see how that goes. Let's start. Create a new adventure log. Wow, that's old school. Wait, go back. Uh, video, oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, and yeah, unused, sure. You got three slots. Do we have a, just a standard default name? What's Draconian Quest? Oh god, no. These are challenges? Wow, absolutely not! I would never no! I mean, no fleeing from battle is fine. No shopping? Absolutely not. No armor? Are you insane? Reduce experience from easy fights? I mean, that's probably good. Enemies are all super strong. Huh. Uncontrollable embarrassment will plague you every step of your adventure. I'm, you know, these are actually cool. I'm not sure about the no shopping or no armor one, but these are actually really cool and they, they could probably actually make for like additional playthroughs depending how like, how much a change of playing style, but no, I don't want any of that. Enter name, I guess we'll just go with Kronos. I know we don't get to choose whether the main character is male or female. At least I don't think we do. It was always the same guy in the 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 trailers. Anyways, Kronos should work. Sure. Uh, no, that's all good there. What am I? Yeah, no, that's that's perfect actually. Looks good on my screen. Looks good on the recording. Yeah. No shopping. No armor. Good God. <laughs> I know there are people out there that would really love to do it, but what is that? Also, I should probably go over this now. I do t occasionally talk through cutscenes and through some dialogues. Um, I know when to shut up, generally speaking. Also, no spoilers. Uh, tips are appreciated, but no outright spoilers in the comment section. If you do see a spoiler in the comment, feel free to just say spoilers. And I will just ignore that comment for the rest of my playthrough. Oh, that just got darker. Oh man, this music. It's classic. Oh no, rain! I'm melting! This game looks beautiful so far. It's been, what, three minutes, Kronos? I know, I know, but it looks good. Like, the last one I played was 9, alright? And it didn't look anywhere near as good as this. Actually, eight didn't even look this good. Here's the one. There's the mark. There's no mistaking it. I might see in the option section if there's like a mixer for voices, because that's rather low on my end. Hopefully, it appears good in video. Ah. Don't bring him near the window, lady. I'm guessing who is mom. Is that my mom? Hi, mom. Oh, lovely. Oh, wow, yeah. Very reminiscent of uh, Dragon Quest II, kind of. When the, well, I guess. Actually, no. Aside from 2 and 8, you don't really start off with the kingdom being destroyed, do you? Don't get out, kid! 
Little girl, don't go out in the open. Yeah, that's why you stay hidden. I'm sure they're all right. Probably. Maybe not. Well, one of us was all right, apparently. And that's probably me. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you don't start crying now, then, then you're not an actual real baby. Magic? <laughs> You're a jolly one. What's this? Oh, you poor thing. Come here. Come here. Oh, there's no need to be frightened anymore. I don't think that baby's ever been frightened in its life. Hopefully mom and what I'm assuming his sister is alright. Probably not, but well maybe actually. Knowing Dragon Quest games, I'll probably come back in the future. Several years later. How many several? Okay, I'm assuming like 16, 17 years later? Do we get a dog? Thanks so much, you're a lifesaver. What is it? Trust me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. How'd you lose it? Would you just, like take it off and throw it in the wind? Finally here, the big day. I can't believe we're going to be climbing all the way up there. That seems dangerous. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Sandy's keen to lead the way. Come on, best not keep her waiting. I'm not. I want to go to the menu and see my stats. <laughs> and to see if the skill system from like 8 and 9 are in it. Oh, yeah, here we go. We go to 22 HP. That's not too bad. Uh, attributes. We got just the basic stats, which is good. Do we have a job? Boy of Cobblestone. All right. I'm assuming that's not our job. Equip oh, it shows our equipment bonuses and skill bonuses. Oh, wow. That's really cool. I love that. No spells. Abilities. No abilities. Attributes. Do we not have the skill system? Oh. Huh. I was actually talking to someone during uh, one of my streams not too long ago, and they said that the skill system is supposed to be different in this one, but somewhat the same. Maybe it's something that will, uh... Quest catalog. Oh! Only 28 quests! That's my type of quests, really. Uh, equipment, what do we got? We got Cobblestone Sword, which is... Can I just do details? Plus 8. That's better than the Copper Sword, usually. Some plain clothes. If I rem Okay, so I don't know if this is something that usually appears when you first... The equipment doesn't change, sadly. So I'm not going to equip that, because I did pre-order this game, and it came with, like, some stuff. But I don't know if that stuff is just, like, by default in the game. Are uh, you not a party member? Uh, we can talk to you. Gemma. Oh, there's no voice party talk. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well. They had voice party talk in 8, right? I mean, we're going to climb in a second. Don't worry. I want to check for treasure and stuff like that. Yeah, the uh, it came with some like 
pre-order bonuses that I installed, but I don't know if they actually came, like, are already in. So I'm not going to actually equip that stuff, just in case it is. Oh, she has an exclamation point on her head, so she's probably important. For dialogue, I think, like, for most of my recent one Let's Plays, I'll probably read out, like, the important one, if it's not, like, port important ones that are, like, maybe not voiced. I'm hoping a lot of it is voiced, but we'll see. The main character seems like he's a silent protagonist, which I guess I, that makes sense. Normally, that is the case for Dragon Quest games. Is there a Dragon Quest game where it isn't silent? Maybe 10, I don't know. I, I don't really know anything about 10. Uh, you know, the man and, uh, and your mother are waiting to see you off at the top of the steps, don't you? Don't keep them waiting, dear. Oh, and remember, if you ever need some advice or you're stuck on what you what to do, have a chat with folks with pretty pink speech bubbles above their head like me. Just press square and look at the map. You can't miss us. While you're looking at the map, press the, uh, the right stick to change the direction you're facing. It's a handy little trick, trust me. Huh. Okay, so there's another helpful NPC down there. Where'd the dog go? He was right here just a second ago. Oh, I see him all the way over across that bridge. I'll look after your lovely granddaughter. You're not related to me, right? I just finished a game where I was... Apparently... Two siblings, even though they're adopted, started dating. Sure, talk, t talk to me. Good luck, I know. I would not want to climb that. That looks horrifying. I'm not a hero, though, so what do I know? Kronos, seeing you and my dear Gamma all set for your big day makes me proud as anything, both as a mayor and as a grandfather. You're not kids anymore, you know. No, you're grown up now, and that means you're going to be... You're going to Thor, Thor and offering your thanks. Now it's time you are on your way. Head up to the top, give praise to the spare of the land, then come back down and tell us how you like the view. Oh, and if you're ever unsure what to do next, press triangle button and select and selecting party talk. Gemma might have some useful tips for you. Just look at you, Cronus, my little boy. All grown up. Now be sure to look after Gemma, hit you here. To think, you've been inseparable since you were teeny. And here you are, about to climb to the tour together. Oh, and if you ever get lose your way, just follow Sandy. That dog's got more sense than any of us. Off you go now, dear. I know the two of you will be just fine. And I'll be make, I'll make sure there's a super delicious supper waiting for you when you get back. I didn't say super at all. That's something Kronos added. Kronos might be hungry. He might not have, not have eaten for a little while and just kind of started recording. Wolf, wolf. Hello. Are you the guy that's going to let me save? You look like the guy that's going to let me save. Do they still do that? Oh, system settings. This is what I wanted to check out, actually. Volume settings... Okay, I'm gonna actually jack this down just a tad. So the voices are over the effects and music. Because during the intro, that didn't seem to be the case. Oh boy, do you have a name? We got an ominous altar up there. Lovely. How are we supposed to climb that? Like inside or on the Humble outside? Folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. That's how it goes, isn't it? I wasn't listening. My granddad's been teaching me the prayer ever since I was little. He reckons the spirit of the land really does live on cobblestone tour, you see. Hmm. Sounds like brainwashing. As long as I can remember, he's been preparing me for this day. The day it would finally be my turn to climb all the way up there and offer my thanks. I just wonder whose idea it was in the first place, sending the village's young folk on such a dangerous Yeah, no event. kidding. What if I take a tumble and do myself a mischief? Man, just hearing you talk makes me want to play Fable. Well, not to worry. Since you and me were born on the same day, I'm lucky enough to have a bodyguard along for the journey. Wasn't I found in a river? Or is that someone else? Come on then. That craggy old thing won't climb its... What happened? Oh. Hi, Sandy. Who let the dogs out? Oh, slimes! Oh no, slimes! Whatever shall we do? I'm pretty sure the dog could take them out. 
What are you gonna do with that giant sword of yours? A group of slimes draw near. Sandy, are you just gonna stand there? Attack slime A. Oh, Sandy! That's awesome. Also, I called the girl Sandy there for a second. I meant to say Gamma. What are you doing, girl? Slap them! Thanks for the cheering. I mean, I guess that's fine. You can just cheer me on. Dog, focus fire! It looks like their health changes color when they get damaged. Good boy. Well, probably girl. Crumbs! No! Da -da 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 -da. Hey, we can adjust the camera. And pose gallantly. Who's a good girl? Oh, treasure. Medical herb. Crikey. I wasn't expecting <laughs> that. Oh, I know they were only little, but I'd have been done for if you and Sandy hadn't been here to If you had me. just punched them a little bit, they would have died. They're slimes. You're good. Maybe kick them a little bit. And now we've got to go through that horrible, dingy cave. Just our luck. Good, I hope more, for more experience. I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things came from. Well, as long as you're with me, I've got nothing to worry about. Oh, I'm going to level up so much. That being said, though, who did come up with this? There's monsters in a cave where they send their children when they become adults. That seems a bit obsessive. Thank you for this chest. Pot lid. I now have a shield. Don't I already have a shield? No, I don't. Oh, block champ 5%. Two defense. That's not bad. I could put this on, but I'm not going to. No, I, I think that's pre-order stuff. Feel free to use whatever you want. But I'm not going to use the pre-order stuff, I think. Maybe, like... It says it comes with, like, seeds of skill, so I'm assuming that has something to do with, well, whatever skill system they have in this game. So, maybe later near the end of the game I'll use it, but not right now. W wherever they are. I don't, actually don't know where I get the pre-order items, I just I know we have clothes that looks like they shouldn't be there. Kinda wish it did change the appearance, though. Go around dressed up like the guy from Dragon Quest VIII. Oh, there's the slimes. Uh, for repeat encounters, I probably will just cut them out. Can I just... I don't have a map that I can expand. No, I do! I do! Oh, dope! I love the fact that this actually shows you everything. Come here, slime man. M more monsters! I don't think they've spotted us yet. You should sneak up and try to surprise them! Uh, get close to a monster with a small... And a small orange arrow will appear just above its head. Them. Press X, and you will give them a weighty wallop with your weapon, lowering their HP before the battle has even begun. Why not try springing a preemptive attack on the slime over there? So if I, like, just go like this, and then... Booyah! We lowered it by one point. Sandy, you get back here and help me. Also, I'm assuming, Sandy, you get fully healed in between battle. Can I... Mm, yeah, I know. I figure it's temporary, but at the same time... I would like to command the dog. Tough little blighters, aren't they? No, they're not! Gamma, you need to leave your house more often. Can I climb this? I can. So yeah, in the future when encounters start repeating heavily or... You know, they re just take a while, I'll probably cut some. Medical herb... And spices. Just kind of how I handle my Let's Play, especially with the, the JRPGs. If this was like an action game, I'd probably keep all battles in, kind of like God of War or Dark Souls, but... At the same time... Ooh, what we get? Medical Herb. Well, that's good. I'll probably need some of those eventually. Uh, we probably can't see how close I am to leveling up, right? No, I'll probably have to go to a priest for that. Actually, we can't even see how much experience points I have in general? Interesting, really? So, my equipment doesn't change, then. That's weird. 
Why show me this guy? Why show me him? <laughs> if, if you're not gonna change the equipment, maybe that changes later on. So hey, I leveled up. You. Let's see, we got three HP, four MP, two strength. No, that's not that bad. Medical mending, we got three of. And a new spell, it's a cure. It's Frizz. Oh. I actually thought I was gonna get cure first. That's fine, I don't think my MP... Oh no, actually I fully heal after I level up? That's cool. That's new too, I think. Uh, there's a new enemy there, let's go get that guy first. Hello! Two damage though, right off the bat. A group of needlers appear. You guys are actually adorable. Does a little dance. Did absolutely nothing. Oh, you killed him, good job. Okay, they don't have that much HP, just nine it looks like. Blighters, aren't they? Stop saying that, because it's wrong. I should probably kill these slimes too. If there's anything I've learned from playing Dragon Quest games is you want to fight all the encounters. If you can fight all the encounters, you won't have to grind so much later on. So you're going that way, so let's go this way. Let's see if there's anything here. Uh, there's pots. Those usually have something. Just picks it up and throws it down. Beautiful. There's nothing special with this water. I can't heal with it. That seems wrong, but okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll fight every encounter on the screen. I'm not sure if, like, enemies respawn. I mean, they probably do respawn if I leave an area and come back. I would assume. Um... But we'll, we'll see how it goes. Copper ore, there's probably alchemy or some sort of crafting in the game. Alright, let's follow the dog some more. I hope, I hope our armor does change eventually. I understand cost-wise that's not very cost-efficient, really, when you make a grand-scale RPG like this. At the same time... Oh, look at all this fog. Is this normal, do you think? I mean, maybe. I've never been here before. Help! Help me! No, whoever that is. Probably that kid what? that... Cole? Why? You're like, you're like six. What are you doing here? Oh, that's lovely. Quick! You have to help him! Oh, you're worried about the slimes, but a fog monster with a massively mean face? You're like, oh, go fight it? I mean, I will. Is the myth mist gathering? The mist seems to be gathering. It's not fog at all. It's more monsters. Are you like that invisible thing you saw earlier in the intro? Some smogs draw near. All right, what's that over there? No, I want that shiny rope thing to the side. But sure, I'll cast a fireball. Dope, nine damage. Crikey! Crikey! I'll quit it. Here you go. Hey, thank you very much. How much do I do it normally? Five. Oh, we already killed it. Okay, you guys aren't that. You guys aren't that special. You're actually about as weak as the slimes. But why is that rope all tingly and stuff over there? Oh! I can move! But I want that... But the rope! Why can I move? Can I dodge attacks? <laughs> 40 experience for that. Alright. Uh, get more MP. Good amount of MP, too. Uh, agility, good strength. No new spell, though. I, I'm i sorry, Gemma. I only came up here... Gemma, not Gemma. Sure. To jump out and surprise you. Well, then we should have left you to be eaten. But then those monsters appeared. What in the world is going on? I never heard anything about monsters appearing on the tour before. But never mind that now. Whatever were you thinking? You could have been killed. 
You take Sandy and get back to the village. No, you leave Sandy. You go back to the village by yourself. Don't worry about the slimes. Y yes, Gemma. Sorry, Gemma. Gemma, the dog stays. <laughs> Sandy, don't go. No, Sandy, good girl, but get back here. You saved my bacon again. I knew you were tough, but crikey, you really have grown into quite the hero. I'm mad you made me lose my dog. Not far to the top now. Really? Because that looks like a far like distance to me. Oh, good. We're gonna go with rock climbing in the rain. Typical. That's safe. It would have to go and start raining, wouldn't it? Come on, let's get a move on. Yeah, but I want to see that vine that was all shiny. Oh, is that just like the, the way to go? Let's read it. Uh, just these vines to climb and you'll be nearly there. Don't lose your grip. Nah, I'm good. I'm just gonna look around here real fast. So we can move in battle. Interesting. Grab this. Thank you for... Uh, word for collecting ten, ty ten different types of items. But I haven't. I haven't collected ten different types of items. Are you counting my... Equipment? I have a great sword? When the hell did I get a great sword? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Unless you're counting like the other medical herb as something, I don't know. That's weird. I have a great sword though. That that's a really big great sword. I would have been using that from the beginning. Alright, let's climb the vines. That's I just did that, and you told me to do it anyways. I can never rope climb. Not enough upper body strength. Or will. This way, watch your step. Another vine over there. Though that one doesn't look like it's going up. No, that one looks like it's going down. We want to keep going up, right? Good, let's go down then. That's a rope burn and a half. Wait, what? Oh, god dang it. Okay, fine. Maybe this was the right way. I wanted to find more items. Any enemies I can fight on my own? Are we close? We're pretty close to the summit. But I guess we'll just have to reach it next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below if you're not subscribed yet. Why don't you head on my video section, check out some of the content, and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day.